as I promised you, I said I'd do an update on this um, budget advertised as a 27 inch sleeping pad. And uh, I brought the little tape measure. I can get to 75 inches, but as hard as I try, Hard as I try, it's just a little over 26 inches. But nevertheless, I slept on it last night, had a good night's sleep. I did wake up because of the pillar. I, I'm not, I had to blow up my um, sea, to, my sea to Summit uh, Aeros pillar because I'm used to moving it all around and um, the pillar didn't work for me. Now I'll put a link down in the description to this particular sleeping pad. And they do offer it as an option without without the pillow. It's I think is a couple of dollars less. This is listed for $29.99. Now one thing I did discover was the deflate and inflate valve all in one, which is a good idea. Now originally, being at the bottom, I thought it would be a good idea. But if you decide you wanted to adjust the firmness, you, and it's at the bottom, you know, you're going to be sitting up and turning around trying to get to it. But um, I like it because when they have them, when they have them at the top end, at the top end, I'm, my hand is always out grabbing it. If it's a, one of them stem valves is sticking up, it seems like it's in the way. And even the flat valve, I can feel them. So I thought it was, I thought it was interesting that the, the valve was on the bottom. But um, it slept all right, had a good night's sleep, slept as good as any 25 inch pad that I've been on. So that's the update and uh, talk to you later. Thanks for watching.